In today's video, I'm going to share with you how I clean my house with all natural homemade cleaners that are so much better for our health and it's easier on the budget. After I fixed our beds and picked up the clothes, I put them into the closet. I started to work on the kitchen and I have some plans that I'm constantly moving around because we have a direct sunshine in the windows in the kitchen. So I want to protect them because they like light, but they don't like the sunshine that is straight goes onto their leaves that can just ruin them. And also I'm started to clean up the sink. That's where I always start <laughs> before I even cook because I feel better to cook in a clean kitchen. I feel like it's less overwhelming. So I started to gather the things from my pantry, what I'm going to need for the spaghetti. The question is always the same. Should I walk over to grab my apron or be lazy and just clean my clothes? <laughs> so I put on my apron and this time I started out the spaghetti with adding some mushrooms. Usually I don't do that, but I wanted to hide some mushrooms in this dish because generally speaking, my family is not a big fan of the mushroom, but they didn't even notice and um, the mushroom has lots of vitamin D, it's, uh, it has lots of nutrition, so I love to add this to ground meat, or in this case, I add it to the spaghetti. This is our favorite pasta, and it has quinoa in there, and I love every pasta that has quinoa because usually the gluten-free ones are made from rice and they go super dry very fast and they just break and they're very rigid and it's not as flexible as bonsi than the quinoa ones the rice pasta has a more blended neutral taste so quinoa has a little bit of a different flavor but as i'm doing the pasta and i use a lot of tomato and garlic it doesn't really matter and so i'm just refilling the salt i don't have this big funnel to use so i just grabbed a paper and just created it and that's a very easy and quick way to refill my jars It's been a few months now that I'm using this vacuum packaging. I have some glass ones and I have some bag ones. And I love this one because I can just wash it and reuse it unlike the other one where I have to cut it and reseal it. So I think it's, it's less waste that way. And I also love the glass version. And what's the biggest hub for me with this system is that when I'm preparing food, I I can just clean them and cut them up and seal them and they are good for a long period of time like this lotus that I made it was peeled and cut uh, I think it was four days so it's kind of like a potato it gets brown very quickly so as I was making the lunch I'm just really trying to catch up with my health so I made a quick juicing <laughs> eventually I want to buy some juicer but I haven't made up my, my mind on it yet what kind I want so until then I'm just going to use my Vitamix and I used some carrots celery and apple Never up, never down, never 
like a theme in a song, clever Feeling high, feeling low at the same time Feel so right, then I'm wrong, hoping I'll be fine But I get up, I always do I never think, I always do Never thought I wouldn't jump, oh what a fool I still haven't figured out how I'm going to decorate this area but it's okay I got time and it takes time for me to find <laughs> how to decorate um, to me organizing it's way easier than decorating so I will just give a time As far as the weather goes, we're supposed to have a nice summery warm weather and if you live on the Pacific Northwest, you can bet if it's rainy season, it's because I put away all the winter clothes. So <laughs> I waited until I was sure we're just going to have a sunny weather, but I'm going to put those big thick sweatshirts and coats away and I'm going to wash them. Some of them I have to wash, some of them are clean, but I'm going to put them away. So if you're experiencing some bad weather, it's because I put them away. <laughs> A quick reset on the top of my dresser. Usually this is where I accumulate things that I was lazy to fold away <laughs> or something I have to return to its place. I don't iron very often, but I use the ironing board on the daily basis because this is where I like to fold because I can adjust to the height and since it has a fabric on the top, it's easier to manage the folding part and it's just, it has been working for me very well. The 
these are the long sleeves shirts that I like to use throughout the cold weather so I'm just going to fold them away and I'm going to tuck them somewhere in the closet and I'm not going to use them until the fall probably because I have the short sleeves out Okay, so this one, my family is not really digging it. <laughs> so I was thinking, I'm going, this is a shredded chicken breast with some spices, and I tried to make it like the taco, but with different spices, not good. So I was thinking to add some, actually one egg, some flour, and maybe some chopped up vegetables, and I just fry them as a patties. So we'll see. <laughs> To store food in the refrigerator I love my jars and also I love the stainless steel containers and I have some more that I ordered because I was thinking I could organize my freezer with that and I, it's really nice when we go somewhere because it's not heavy <laughs> like the glass ones so it's very useful but I also love the jars because I get to see what's in there and also I love this one because I can just vacuum out the air so uh, the food that I chopped up it lasts longer and it stays fresh longer
Okay, I wanted to show you this guys. I find this at Marshalls and I haven't seen anything like that. So when I bought it, I didn't know what I was buying. <laughs> And I thought it was just a regular diffuser, but this one doesn't use any water. And the reason I bought it, because I saw the picture, it uses the Himalayan salt, so I can use it as a light in the bathroom. And also it can diffuse um, some kind of essential oil. And this is amazing because it uses just a little piece of fabric and it works. It works amazingly. So I'm going to put some Citrus Bliss on it, which is orange and vanilla. Oops, let's wipe it up. Okay. So I just have to place it here and it has some little fan in there. And I just put this on the top and I don't need water, I don't need to refill. And I have the light that I wanted and also it has some nice scent that I can feel when it's in the use. So this is the next morning and we started out by resetting the living room and this is where the boys are learning so it, <laughs> this corner definitely needs a tidy up once in a while and but I do like that they have a designated space for that so we don't have to stress about it like before we were doing all this work on the dining table this big dry mop helps me so much to maintain this bigger surface because we had a smaller hose and now we have more floor and truly this dry mop without this that would be a lot of work but i can go very quickly with this dry mop it works amazingly it just picks up all the fine dust and goes very fast That day I was focusing more on the floor so dusting and just mopping the floor first vacuuming and then mopping with my steam mop that I love so much and just a little backstory for you so this footages that you see right now what I'm doing on this given day <laughs> I actually dropped the camera it was on the tripod and I dropped that and it seemed like it was working fine so I kept continue working on the house I cleaned everything well you will see what I cleaned <laughs> and then the card didn't work so I couldn't download looks looked like I lost all the footage <laughs> so I had to go for a walk just to let the steam out <laughs> And I came back and I couldn't figure out what to do with it. And then Joad came home and he saved me <laughs> because he was able to recover the card because it damaged as I dropped the camera. So I almost lost this footage. So all that you can see from now on, I didn't know I gonna be able to edit, but on the end, everything worked out well. But let me tell you, I aged 10 years <laughs> during this time and as I was figuring it out because then the voice didn't work. So there was a few technical difficulties, but on the end, everything turned out to be fine.
I've been using this mop for a few months now so I can give you a more review on that and the difference between what I had before I had a Libman and I still have it in the closet but I haven't used it <laughs> since I have this one so the big difference between the two that I don't have to physically do a lot of work so I can just easily glide over the dirt even if it's caked on the floor it's very very easy so it's much less of a workout for me to clean the floor that way with the Liman, I had to go back and forth a few times scrub it a little bit soak it a little bit with this one it's so much faster and for next I just wrapped some potatoes into a paper and some sweet potatoes as well because they stay fresh longer when they are in a dry and dark environment A quick reset for the kitchen island this is the area where I have to keep my eye on it because <laughs> things just gather there putting away the dried laundry and also I gave a quick wipe to my plants because they seemed a little bit dusty this was for the today inspiration I really hope that you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss out on my next upcoming video Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys soon. Bye!